Building upon award-winning evolutionary Charles Darwin, who proposed that organisms adapt to their environments over time, Gregor Mendel proposed a theory that helped explain how this happened. Mendel was but a humble Austrian monk, born in 1822. In practicing his peaceful ways, he spent a lot of time in his monastery garden. And even though some say a life committed to God can be fulfilling enough, Mendel still found some extra time on his hands in which he experimented with pea plants. Up until then, it was believed that if you mix two species, the outcome of that hybrid is a pure blend of the two parents. So, curious as Mendel was, he decided to mix peas that were opposite to each other in a very clear manner. Smooth and wrinkled, tall and short, brown and privileged. By combining a king-sized pea and a small pea, you of course expected to create a medium-sized pea. Which didn't happen. Leading then to his conclusion that some genes must be dominant and others recessive. Also known as the law of segregation. As well as the law of independent assortment which states that traits are passed on independently from parent to offspring. You are not inheriting your dad's beard grow, but do inherit his inclination towards alcohol. When he went to give a lecture about this in 1865 however, people didn't really get what he was saying too much, and this work was mostly overlooked. Then around the 1900s, his theory became more understood, even by Darwinians. Not Darwin himself, as he died in 1882. Darwin constructed his natural selection based on the blending hypothesis as well. But if every gene keeps blending, the amount of options quickly start diminishing and gives natural selection their room to work with. This was one of the criticisms that Darwin had on his own theory. Darwin and Mendel never met, but Mendel's work on DNA may prove to be a worthy ally to Darwin's theory of evolution. And turns out it was. Mendel has become the father of modern genetics and his theory proved to be very influential for today's biology. Now this was a short summary of Mendel's life. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something and till next time, see ya!